No matter how much some on both sides may want it, Iran will never allow a strategic relationship to develop with the United States, at least under this Ayatollah. Hope for a nuclear deal and the emerging new mutual threat of the Islamic State in Iraq has prompted a number of former U.S. officials and other commentators that we may be entering a period where there could be a new strategic alignment with Iran. Could we be entering a new era? I don't think so. Here are three reasons why the enemy of our enemy is not necessarily our friend. Iranian representatives are actively working to preserve Iraqi Prime Minister Maliki and ensuring a Shia government that's aligned with Iran. Quds Force Commander Ghassan Soleimani is building up new proxy militia forces in Iraq and integrating them into the Iraqi security forces. You can be sure these personnel are not going to be supporting American interests. These actions by Iran inside Iraq should come as no surprise. As crazy and conspiratorial as it may sound, the senior leadership in Tehran believes that the Islamic State is the latest front in a U.S. and Israeli war funded by Saudi Arabia to divide the Muslim world and destabilize the Iranian regime itself. The number one most important reason is that an Iranian alignment with the U.S. is completely incompatible with the ideological tenets of the 1979 revolution and the Supreme Leader Khamenei's personal distrust of the U.S. Resistance to America and the global political, economic, and security system it leads was and remains a founding pillar of the Islamic Revolution in 1979. The enormous network of proxies and terrorist groups that Iran leads throughout the region is a testament to how important this remains. Compromise or giving up on this principle of resistance to America would undermine the whole foundation of the regime itself. The Supreme Leader could even lose his job. That doesn't mean there aren't still practical things that we can do with Iran, such as deconflicting over airstrikes in Iran, and of course continuing to work for some type of nuclear deal that prevents Iran from ever achieving a nuclear weapon. But we shouldn't get ahead of ourselves. There's nothing that's going to help us overcome the ideological chasm that we have with the Iranian regime. <laughs>